Okay, so <clears throat> AQA GCC, the nine marker. What are the keys to success? Well, the key is to think like an examiner. Examiners don't get paid for how much time they spend. They get paid for how many bits they do. So with a nine marker, they want to get through as many as possible. And they want to see yours stand out. So first things first, think like an examiner. Hook the examiner. More thinking, less inking. More think, less ink. So the mark scheme has three assessment objectives worth three marks each, and you want to get to the third, the highest mark for each one. What do those mean then? Well, three plus three plus three equals nine. Well done. What does it mean then? Well, A1 is facts, figures, examples, capital letters, numbers with the right units. Number two, the second A02 is the knowledge of the subject, the language, the key jargon, the key concepts, multiplier effects, infiltration rates, blah, blah, blah. And then thirdly is answering the question, your opinion, be explicit. Don't sit on the fence, be explicit. Or the rule of threes. We're hunting for level three. Or more importantly, we want to go to where lambs become sheep. So the holy grail of level three. Here's our mark scheme. Isn't it boring? A01, A02, A03. Let's rewrite it. A01 demonstrates a thorough and detailed knowledge of subject content. Blah, blah, blah. Locations, places, processes, environments. How about... Place names, dates, figures, locations at different scales. For example, Diwali sits within the large city of Mumbai, which is within an LIC city of India. Okay, places. How cold is it in Alaska? Well, it's in January, it's minus 17 degrees in Juneau, which is a place within Alaska. Capital J for Juneau, examiners see it. What about the second one? Demonstrates thorough understanding of concepts, how they use, blah, 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 relation. How do you demonstrate a thorough language? You use the keywords, you use the concepts, and you introduce sheep. You know what sheep are, they're coming down the line. But use the words deliberately. Examiners see the word environment, examiners see the word economic, examiners see the word social, they spot it really well. And finally, AO3 clearly applies knowledge of understanding, evaluates and makes judgments. ATQ, answer the question. And then you do all three of these in your opening paragraph. So these are the command words that are used in nine markers and what they really mean. Assess, make an informed judgment. Something is better than something. Something is really important, but not the most important. Evaluate, judge from any evidence. They may give you evidence. It may be a prelease. They may be evaluate. Lift some figures to what extent. Brilliant. You say, judge the importance or success of something. And you say, yeah, on one hand, it's really good for the environment. However, it's not very good for making jobs and therefore economically for people who may not then vote. So not good for politics either. And finally, use evidence to support the statement. That means you quote evidence back at the examiner. Remember those sheep then, folks, the good sheep and the bad sheep. Social positives, historical positives, economic positives, environmental positives, political positives, but they also have the bad sheep. Social negatives. We're all social isolated. You know, there's a social negative. Historical, well, historical, I always use a small H. It's only in there, so I can talk about sheep. Economic negatives. So remember, we can have a positive multiplier of them building a new uh, leisure center, but a negative multiplier of them closing a coal mine. Environmental positives. It reduces the carbon footprint. Environmental negatives. It increases traffic flow, which raises the amount of carbon dioxide going into local areas, causing pollution. And politically, politically, this is good as it creates jobs and people are more likely to be happy with the government, etc. So here it is then, the four paragraph essay. Paragraph one, your conclusion. Place names, specific numbers, the thumb rule. If you can put your thumb on just the name of, let's say again, the city in India that has got a rapidly expanding population, and then there's no other detail anywhere else that could be tied to that particular city, you are not going to fool your examiner. The number of times one says, with reference to Mumbai, and then absolutely nothing, nothing to do with the name of Mumbai, nothing to do with its location, nothing to do with types of industry, nothing to do with Dharani, et cetera, et cetera. The positives and then of the agreement come next. The agreements, the happy sheep, the positive social, the positive economic, the positive environmental, or the positive political, if they're there. Then the negatives, the sad sheep, and then why write anything else? What a waste of ink, you loser. Here are some great words, adjectives that are used, and examiners see these as well. You can read them for yourself. Greens are the positive, down to the negatives, depending on the command word. And finally, here it is, a simple introduction that shows you how you can do it. This is an introduction to an essay that has been set before. Good luck.